Hey, babes. <laughs> and join the sisterhood and if you are returning if you are a returning subscriber you are already a sister so how you doing girl how you doing girl how you doing girl as y'all can tell by the title um <laughs> i could have at least started this video with my hair still in a ponytail like it's giving ghetto but as y'all can tell by the title i'm giving y'all a detailed twist out video on my natural hair now this video has been requested more than once but this was like a while ago um back when my hair was burgundy so this was like last year so many people were asking me about my twist styles what i use when i twist my hair out how do i do it because my twist styles will come out very full very big and the curls will be giving the girls yeah so i decided to come on here and go ahead and film a twist out video hopefully the girls that ask me is still a supporter and you see this if not i, I did go to the gym this morning so i slipped it back with gel and just threw it back only thing i'm about to do is just wet my hair like drench it as much as i can right over the tub girl you know how your mama used to do it so that's how I'm about to do, drench the hair, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get into it, per. Okay, y'all, so this is my hair, what I would like to say, semi-drenched. Let me show y'all. Because I personally feel like my hair could be wetter than this, but I didn't want to get in the shower right now because I have to leave back out. So this will work for the time being. Now we're gonna get into products and what I use. So y'all seen what the twist out look like. Y'all might be surprised, but the only thing I use in my hair for a twist out is Eco Styling Gel. Okay, that is the only thing I use on a normal basis when i'm twisting out my hair um i've tried other products i've tried to put creams and you know all that different stuff that they say you need in your hair but it don't give for me lately have started using shea moisture's hydrate repair multi-action leave-in can y'all see the focus there we go but yeah that's pretty much all I do, and I'm not even going to get on here and pretend like I section my hair off all perfectly and make sure the parts are good. The parting really doesn't matter. At least not to me. If you want to part your hair perfectly, by all means, do that. But I'm just telling you what I do, okay? What is on my arm? Girl, I ate some cookies earlier. Not chocolate on my arm. Bye. I know y'all see that part is not perfect, but this is about how much hair I start off with at the back. Oop. We'll go ahead and add a few sprays. Not too much, like so. We're going to comb it out. Okay. We don't want to mad it up twist out per. So, what I've learned with twist outs is um, the bigger the twist, the more the volume. So, volume meaning the fuller your hair will look. Um, I personally don't care about the volume because I already have thick hair. So, I know my hair will get volume. Soon as I pick it out, my hair gonna get volume. So I'm not really worried about the volume. So I do, I do small twists. Um, like, not super, super skinny, but my twists are small. Um, I don't do big twists because I like definition. So that's what I'm about to get into, um, which is what I've learned with doing twists. The smaller your twist, 
the more the definition. So definition, definition meaning the more you'll see the pattern in your curls. Um, you'll see that twist pattern, you know what I'm saying? But the bigger, you'll still see the twist pattern, but you're not gonna see as much definition. You're gonna see more volume than you see definition. I'll take a piece literally this big. And once again, I don't do perfect parts. I add gel directly to the hair. Now make sure I finger the tangle and I also brush the tangle. Because that's also gonna give you that definition. I take two fingers, <laughs> split it apart, no way, and I just twist. Now make sure I'm twisting very tightly at the roots. So I know the roots. Oh, hold on. See, now I'm going to be acting crazy when I'm trying to record. <laughs> Make sure you're twisting real tight. Now, I've never done a twist out with long nails like this either. So I'm pretty sure that's what's kind of slowing me down. But yeah, y'all see that? And we're just twisting all the way down to the end. This finger coil the ends, meaning I just twist it with a finger so it can lock at the ends. And that's all I do. That's all I do. And don't think it's gonna stay this skinny. As your hair dries, your hair is going to start to shrink. This twist is not gonna be this long. It's gonna start to shrink and it's gonna grow out a little bit. So, and then we just move on. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say, but we just move on. Okay, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Girl, losing train of thought. Um, if you have very thick hair, if y'all can see, my hair is very thick. Um, if you have very, very thick hair like me, I highly, highly suggest if you want to do a twist, um, a twist out, and you want to take it out the next day, you should probably start your twist um, around noon or around 1 o'clock in the evening. I say that because thicker hair takes longer to dry, okay? And I, I, I know that from experience, okay? If you're trying to twist your hair out and you want to take it out the next morning, baby, twist your hair at 12 o'clock in the afternoon the day before, okay? If you got something to do on um, that day before you want to twist your hair out, you gonna have to wear them twists for that day. Thicker hair takes longer to dry. If your, if your hair is not dry, your twist out will not come out right. Your hair has to be completely dry and I don't mean damp. I don't mean semi dry. I don't mean um, only one twist was wet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That hair got to be dry. Um, if your hair is more on the thinner side, I really don't know about y'all because I don't know. I ain't never experienced some thin hair before. I'm just be honest. I'm not knocking my thinner hair queens. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Sometimes I want to be y'all. I'm not knocking y'all. But um, I, I can't tell y'all nothing. Because I don't, I don't have hair like y'all. I'm not going to film like the whole time I'm twisting my hair. Because this this is a tedious process. Um, <clears throat> And I'm starting at... It is 7.27, so I'm just going to show y'all what time I finish, because it's, it's going to be a while, I already know, because I'm doing, I do small twists. So, this is my back row. Done and completed. Yes, I do not care about parts. <laughs> so. Not too much on the parting bag because I know it looks crazy back there. <laughs>
Okay, y'all. So now that we're basically to the top, my hair, my perimeter and surrounding areas are pretty much done. I'll just show y'all. Kelsey, yeah. So when I used to do my twist outs, I would um, do the sides and then I would take a row in the front and pull it to the front because I would like for my hair, I would like to have bangs with my twist out, but that's when my hair was a lot shorter. Now that my hair is a lot longer, I just do a middle part um, as straight as I can get it. And I still even don't make that perfect because I still like kind of bring my hair to the front. Um, Cause I just like, when I do twist outs, I like my hair to be in my face. Take one side and I just get this out the way. And we just work with this side. And I just work with it in rows. So I'm gonna go through it like straight instead of going through it like this way. Um. So yeah, I just, Part off little sections out of this section. We take our clip, move this hair out the way, and then we just work by section until we get to the middle. And we're twisting downwards so our hair can fall downwards. Um, you know, if you're twisting like up and all over the place your hair is gonna fall however you're twisting or whatever direction you're twisting in. So if you wanna do a side part, then you know, you would twist your hair, I mean, you would make your part and wherever your bang is flowing, you would make sure you're twisting that way. So when you unravel it, it's all falling to that side, all this hair is falling to its side. So with a section like this, when I'm more to the front, I do kind of make them a little bigger because I'm working on my edges and my perimeter, which is not as long. So I don't want this to be a twist. So we can make this probably about three twists and we're just gonna divide it out by three. A, like a night routine um, of like how I maintain a twist out overnight, let me know. I don't do nothing special with that either. But I could definitely let you know. Comment a red rose. You've made it this far in the video. I just want to know where my sister girls at that actually be watching, watching, and don't just be fake watching. Now my fake watchers, y'all watch like the first three minutes of the video and then y'all click off. I don't appreciate that. So I'm probably, I probably could get about four twist out of this because we're just going to break it up some more because it is thicker so yeah I'm go ahead and stop here and i'm come back when i'm like right here so this camera don't die okay y'all we are on our last twist as y'all can see it's the last one and it is really stop it is 909 and I'm about to rush because my camera is literally about to die. I feel like we finished at pretty good timing. That's one. And we are done. Let's get up close so y'all can see. These are the finished twists. Purr. So, this is finished look. I'm also going to record how my hair looks after. Y'all can see, I, will, I probably will keep these in all day tomorrow. It just depends on what I have to do. So y'all will see what my hair looks like. Probably tomorrow because I do have work early Thursday. I don't really have time to take these out and do what I want to do to them. But yeah, I'm going to film what it looks like afterwards, okay? Hey y'all. So I'm going to get on here and show y'all my hair. This is the next day after tying them up. I do sleep very wild, so keep that in mind. I told y'all it's gonna be shrinkage, which it is. Um, I also did have heat damage in the front of my hair, so you can see by my ends. But I'm about to go ahead and take them out because it is 
seven o'clock the next day at night and my hair is dry it's completely dry um when i woke up this morning my hair was wet sorry y'all i had to focus sorry y'all i had the humidifier on okay y'all for the takeout process i don't do anything spectacular um but i do put oil on my fingertips i personally use the wild growth hair oil um whatever oil you like to use in your hair i put a lot as you can see i just make sure my hands are completely oiled up and i rub that in i don't like you know some people take their twist out and they take the twist and they just break it apart that's how you create frizz so i take the twist i pull it like all the way to its maximum pull until i start to see that it's breaking apart like you're basically literally just unraveling it then from there i take these two pieces and now this twist is pulled apart and i do that throughout my entire head really try to prevent yourself from pulling the twist apart like that don't do that i always mistakenly do that to my front piece though every single time so this side is completely taken out okay this how the twist look right now freshly taken out now i'm gonna take the other side out and I'll be back. Okay, now the twists are completely taken out. This is the result of that. So now what I do is I go in to each part and I just pull it apart. So let me show you what I mean by that. I take a piece like this and I just start to break this apart this is what's going to give you your volume i normally just break it up into threes and then we're going to the next section and i just do this all around my hair um in no particular area just breaking the hair apart try not to like be pulling you know be very gentle with it because that's what's going to cause you to have frizziness so just you know Pull it apart like so. And then just do that all around your hair. Once again, that's what's going to bring your definition, me your volume. That's what's going to make the hair look. Excuse my sister y'all. This is gonna make the hair look bigger. She's on the phone with her best friend. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this apart. Now I'll come back to y'all when it's fully pulled apart. So I normally just go in with a pick or a comb that has something like this at the end. If you have a comb like this, this will work because this is kind of a pick. It's just a mini one. Um, and I just go in and I just start to pick. Just do that all around your hair. Now remember, your first day of twist out, your hair is not going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Your hair has to progress over the time it will get bigger so mm -hmm. okay babes this is what she's giving not even fully picked out give it to her she's definitely giving volume plus definition And yeah, this is the end result. This is a one day, first day twist out. Um, don't forget that I do have heat damage in the front of my hair. Look. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you have any questions comments concerns i might upload a picture also just to show y'all how my hair looks tomorrow if you want to know how i sleep on this um so that'll be a whole nother video okay um it's not a lot of details with that but it is because you can't just go to sleep like this or you'll wake up disappointed okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this twist out video if you want to see more videos like this comment down below um and yeah that's pretty much it i'm so naike and i'm signing out love